Welcome back to Fool Us. This next magician already fooled Penn and Teller and plans on doing it again right now. When I fooled Penn and Teller the first time, I made a special request. I'd like to take the liberty at this point to rewrite the rules. If even one of these two tricks fools you, I still get to take home the trophy. Well, the one trick, the tennis racket thing we got. So we would like to give you half a trophy. The trick that fooled them was invented by my dad. Now, he's a very well-known magician in Australia, and he comes up with his own magic all the time. I actually didn't want to become a magician at all. When I was 16, Dad was looking for an assistant. Then all of a sudden I thought I would like to try my hand in doing a couple of tricks. And from there, did my own show as well. And that's why we're back tonight, to have another run at them. Dad's got the old trophy. Now it's time to win one for me. Coming back to us all the way from Australia, once again, here's Helen Coglin. Thank you. Thank you very much. Tonight, I'm going to turn my hand to escapology. Now, we've all seen escape artists. They get themselves tied or chained into all sorts of really dangerous situations. But have you ever noticed that every single time, without fail, with just seconds to spare, they miraculously manage to escape? I mean, it's always so dramatic. They never get hurt. Where's the fun in that? <laughs> well, tonight I've decided with my escape to do away with all the drama and one of two things will happen. I'm either going to escape or I'm not. <laughs> you win a few, you lose a few. Now, to help me tonight, I'm actually after a couple of people to come up on stage to assist and I'm actually looking for a couple of strong, good-looking men to help. Oh, actually, Penn and Teller, you guys will do. Please give them a round of applause. I hope you don't mind. So nice to Good see you both you know again. Thanks for coming to the show. I'm glad you could make it. I'm handing each of you a solid steel rod with chains securely welded on each end. I would also like you to point out the stand with the loop on. Make sure everything is solid steel and the chains are securely welded. Now, gentlemen, can you remember last time I was on, I changed the rules. This time, I'd like to do it again if that's okay. <laughs> Thanks, okay. Um, now, the rules are what we're gonna do, while I have two sets of these, I'm gonna be chained up to one of these sets and tell her you're gonna be chained up to the other. And whoever escapes first gets the trophy. <laughs> okay. So now, to make it fair, you can choose which... Well, we'll which... see if you get yourself out to fool us. Okay. Besides That's... getting up. Hey, I'm making the fell... rules, not you. <laughs> so you can choose which rod and chains you would like to be chained onto and which set you would like me to be chained onto. Free choice. You would like to be chained? You don't want to change your mind? You happy with that? Which stand would you like to be chained on? You want to be chained to that one? Okay, I'll get you to stand on the platform. Pen, you're going to chain me up and tell okay. her to chain you up all the way from Australia. I've bought my dad, Arthur Coglin. <laughs> dad, these are my new friends, Pen and Teller. Teller, would you like to remove your jacket, please? You might find it easy to remove your jacket. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> Perfectly. Okay, so we'll start with my left wrist. If you would like to chain my left wrist up. Okay. Chain it up. Make sure it is nice and out, nice and tight. I will. Okay, I'm sure you will. I don't want the audience to think I'm pulling my wrist out. Okay. And Dad's doing the same with Teller. That's pretty tight. You can't, I can't pull my wrist out? I don't believe so. So this goes through here. Right. Okay. And my right wrist. Once again, if you make sure it's nice and tight, I don't want the audience to think I'm pulling my wrist out. Okay. Okay? Okay, it is nice and tight. I now, believe that's tight enough. Tell her, you don't have any keys. I don't have any keys. Pen. I have keys. You've got the keys. You can go and stand over there with Teller and by all means give him all the ideas you want, but please, you right? Feel yeah, free, yeah, okay. but please don't touch. You can look, okay. but don't touch. 
Okay. Okay. Can I please have the cover? Now, I'm going to be hidden from your view, so you can't copy what I'm doing. Okay, so the first one out wins the trophy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I like those rules. Maybe, if you, uh, are if you fool us. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> are you ready? You ready, Pen? You ready, uh, Teller? I'm as ready as I'm going to be. Okay, away we go. I can't touch. Yeah, well, can you try? You get wide, you get broader there if you can get something through. Would tipping this or getting off it help? I don't know if that's gonna. That's not doing anything, but it'll look good. Seems like you're failing, Teller. Hey, Penn, how's Teller going? I, well, he's, he's just about out. He's just about out? Yep, almost done. He's got one little one little thing to do, and then he's fine. I'd say I beat him. Remember, it may be your rules, but it's our show. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, how is So, how do you like being back for the second time? It's fantastic. Time? It is so cool. Yeah. I'm so excited to be here. I really am. So, we always talk about the win, like, okay, if you win, da da da, and you get yep. to come back. So, did you come back? And I came back after, um, I last year after I fooled them. I came back, got the opportunity to perform on stage with them, and that was honestly the highlight of the year. Being with these guys performing on stage, it was fantastic. That's so cool. Yeah, really we cool. never get to hear about that part of it. Yeah, no, it was great because um, I ended up closing the show for them. And honestly, they were one of the best opening acts I've ever had. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they were pretty good. Now, also, I just quickly want to mention with those locks, everything that you saw with this escape, it's solid steel, the chains are securely welded on, and the locks are real. All right, well, I just loved your escape, and Thank I you hope so you much. escape with another trophy. So let's so, see right. if we'll the boys figure it out. Penn, tell her. Okay, Helen, we do not like people coming on our show and changing the rules. <laughs> we love the act. We want to go on. We usually spend a lot of time talking about how much we love you and how great the act is. You have forfeited that. I'm not <laughs> going to do that because you changed the rules. So we're changing the rules too because usually we get one stab at this. One stab, and then if we don't get it, you get the trophy. But you changed the rules. Okay. So I'm changing the rules. My <laughs> show. I'm changing the rules. First of all, you're going to answer these honestly. Did you have another person in the cabinet? Because if you had another person in the cabinet, you did not fool us. Is there another person in the cabinet? No. Was there ever another person in the cabinet? No. Okay, that's crossed off. <laughs> now, a lot of times, people do escapes like this, they get extra slack in the chain. They can slide out of it. No, I did you really tight, but was there a way for you to get extra slack? Nope. I'm not done yet. <laughs> A lot of times, uh, Houdini did this a lot, there'll be a way to screw the, par the bar apart so it comes apart like that. Do you have a way to screw the bar apart? Oh, this is getting boring now. No. Okay, I'm not done. I'm not done. Here's the one that's most likely. And answer this carefully. Does my wrist screw Because off? no, no, it's not going to be it. There are repercussions to this answer. Oh, I can't Did wait. you have a key on a handle that you could maneuver with one hand? You can frisk me if you like. Okay. We have one more. This is the clincher. Do you think that you actually fooled us? Yes. You did. Will Penn and Teller give another one away? Come back and find out.